And we're off and running. Something told me it was a good day to come to the Goodwill. What do you think the chances are they would sell me just this one bird right here? Oh, Lord have mercy, there's more. There is a nice piece of Temptations, but I have to deal with the Temptations that I already have. Okay, that sounded kind of funny. Today is a brand new day. What are you gonna do with it? So the journey goes on, oh. In short sleeves. I cannot believe we are finally here. It was not quite 80, almost 80 degrees here today in Vegas and ah it was glorious. It was glorious and I am happy to report every single one of my tortoises has made it through another year of brumation. It is always kind of a pins and needle kind of thing because a lot can happen while you're sleeping for four to five months and this was a particularly long sleep for them. I actually woke them all up. I did not let them go any longer because they can get really dehydrated and bad things happen. So, um, but everybody's accounted for. That will be coming out in one of my little vloggy videos very, very soon for all those who are interested in following the escapades of my animals. And speaking of that, super exciting announcement please come and subscribe over to my new channel, Critter Cams. That's right, I will have Aquarium Cam, Turtle Cam, Bougie Cam. We are working on all of these, but we have our first video ready to go up on the channel very, very soon. I mean, I'm recording this before it's done. It might be, it might be there by the time this comes out. So, please come over and take a look at this new adventure. And uh, I'm excited about it. I've been asked to do it for a very long time and it is happening. So away we go. All right, I am at Goodwill. It is the eve before uh, Easter Sunday. So it's not very crowded by the looks of the parking lot. I don't know, looks could be deceiving though. But this is about the time of night they bring out new carts and I'm excited to get in there and see what I can find. All right, let's get shop done. All right, somebody left a cart right here where I parked. So I'm gonna bring this one in and call it our lucky cart of the day. And let's see what is our color for 50% off. It's gonna be orange. And let's see what we got on the goodie shelf. Oop, there's hangers on the floor. Let's pick hangers up. Can't have that. Take a peek in the go back cart. It's just clothing. And let's come over here to the tchotchke shelves here. Let's see what we've got. Ooh, I do like this butterfly. It's a frosted glass butterfly. For $3.99, I'm looking for any chips or damage, and I'm not. I'm finding just a little tiny flea bite of roughness there, but that's not a big deal. You know what? We're gonna grab him. First thing in the cart, $3.99. Let's see what this is. It's orange. It's $1.50 is what it is. It's not. Like, I think it's a hobbyist piece. I don't think it has a name under there. It doesn't, but it's definitely got some age on it. You know, it's only $1.50. I'm gonna grab it. It's kind of cool. And we're off and running. We've got a little Dalmatian. He looks like one of those um, stone critters or maybe even like a Castagna. He's two dollars. He's got just a little tiny bit of wear on his ear, but not bad, you know, for two bucks again. Let's put him in the cart. And we are on a roll. Indianapolis, 1971, Indianapolis 500 glass. That's actually kind of cool. I have some friends that are racing fans. I wish I knew what the original price was since it's half price. I wonder is, no, that's, look at, everybody's like shredding, shredding price tags. You know what? I'm gonna get this and we'll figure it out at the checkout. 
That's a shame. It's a pretty little glass lotus candle holder. There are some nice shells in here. Nice, nice, but nothing too super exciting. So we're gonna leave that. Oh, starfish, crystal starfish. No, just stars. Why was I seeing starfish in that? Oh, they're candle holders. Okay, the candles sit in the arms. Are you signed? Are you somebody? You look like you should be somebody. And there's a pair. That's that's what's got my interest is it isn't just one. There are two of them. Oh, it's really damaged. Darn it. All right. We'll leave those for somebody else, but they are cool. I must say. And this is a piece of vintage glass with this daisy pattern. I have sold this before. I'm not remembering what the pattern is, but it is super cool. I think I sold it for like $15 before and it's only three. So sure, let's do that again. Wow, that was a really, really good start to the shopping trip. Let's see if we can keep it up. $12.99 on that. Plates, plates, plates. Oh, here's another one. Oh, somebody watched my video. <laughs> so the last one I got was priced at like, you know, $7.99. This one they have at $49.99. And uh, so no, we won't be picking it up at that price. It may be here a while. It is super cool. And uh, we'll see what happens with that. Maybe if it doesn't sell, they'll price it down to where I can can buy it but can't blame them for trying all right we've got some little punta cana sea turtles i don't where's punta punta cana oh, am i even saying that am i saying a, i hope i'm not saying like a bad word in another language just thought of that let's see what these angels are they appear to be vintage I'm not sure, and they're not marked. We've got an onyx dolphin for three dollars. See if he has any damage. I don't think he does. I wonder why he's in a baggie, though. Why did they put him in a baggie? I wonder if he had something else with him at one time. It doesn't matter. I'll pay three dollars for the onyx dolphin. I'm just curious why they put him in a bag. Oh, a little bumpkin nativity. $4.99. You know what? I have a thing for nativities. I wish I could find all the other pieces to it. That would be cool. For five bucks, I'm going to pick that up. Something told me it was a good day to come to the Goodwill. Something told me. Let's see what else we've got up here. Oof, knocking stuff over here. The Shed Aquarium in Chicago. Look at this beauty, unfortunately, very broken. It was meant to be on something else. Cool little wood tree. Chipmunk, oh, who are you? Yes, Little Joseph Originals for $1.99. Are all your fingers there? Ah, all your fingers are there. Oh, you are beautiful. Wait, your head's been glued back on. Gosh, darn it. Oh. That's a shame. That's a shame. I'm sorry, little girl. You will not be coming with me today. Hopefully somebody else will rescue you. Ooh, look at this ducky poo. $4.99. $4.99. Let's make sure you're not broken anywhere. $4.99, you're coming with me. 1964-1965 New York World's Fair. Let's see how much you are. $7.99. I don't find these things bring the money anymore. Who makes you? Bake right, oven tested, 22 karat gold. Lots of crazing on these. And that one's got cracks at the top, so we'll have to leave those behind. And we'll keep looking. That is a trinket box. 
That is Moonlight Ranch, a little decanter missing its topper. Is that a Bilo baby? That is a Bilo baby. Hmm. Let's see. You want to look at the back of the head for the marks. Let's see. It does say Putnam. Putnam's good. It also does say West Germany. So this is an older one and she's fantastic, but I don't see a price. Might have to get a price at the checkout. Now, because I found that doll, I am going to look a little closer at the dolls and see if there's any other older ones. These aren't horrible. They're not old, old like the ones I collect. These are Danbury mints. That's not what I want. I want the early 1900s, late 1800s versions. That was candles. And I don't see anything in the candles that we need. Oh, there's a little ship in a bottle. Not in a bottle. A little ship in a, yes, in a box. There we go. I can spit out the words. It's not super fabulous. Oh, look. Somebody opened this up from before. Remember, I, this was here the last time I shopped in this store. It's $5.99, you know, for this whole thing, but... There's really only one bird in here I want. What do you think the chances are they would sell me just this one bird right here? This is the one, this is the one I want right here. I mean, he's kind of kitschy and cool, but you know what? I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna ask if they will sell me the one little flocked bird. Ceramic memo board. All right. Look at this tiki mask. It's $9.99. It's the Ghana collection. Open mouth mask from Pier One. Hmm. It is a Pier One. I wish it was less than $10, but you know what? I think I can get $30 for this. So, I will pick it up. This one. Yeah, not as exciting. $14.99 on that one. And then we have some large flowers. Oh, look at all the little brass dolphins. Big ones are $7.99. These little tiny ones are $3.99. So I'm going to leave those. What's this? Are you like a Scirocco? Feels like it. Yeah, well, they. it's Homeco. Homeco. Let's see if this, why would they do that? I don't understand. I don't understand. They could have put that same sticker right there. Okay, Goodwill people, if you're watching, please, please don't cover up the, the wording. Those are cool though. Let's see. Today is a brand new day. What are you gonna do with it? Ooh, that's a great question. Great question to ask yourself every thing, single day. We get tempted to do so many things in a day and you can do good or you can do not so good, but you get to choose. $4.99 for the Capice Shell bowls. I do like that they are in their original wrapping, so they've never been used or scratched up or anything, so I'm going to grab those. He's kind of cute. Oh no. Oh no. Poor, poor Poo. Poo. Poo's, Poo's not in very good condition. Poor Poo. <laughs> Gobble till you wobble those guys are so cute. <laughs> Pick him. <laughs> All right, that's pretty fantastic. What's this? Oh, it's heavy. It's just a wall hanging. It's resin. Not super exciting. Let's see what 
these are coasters just little you know what i these are great little displays i know they're probably meant to be coasters but they're great little just accent pieces i'm grabbing those for the store all right let's see that is a crystal apple Ooh, heavy crystal apple faith makes things possible not easy I like that. That is true, too. That is true. Oh, it's a Golden Knights thing. I always look at Golden Knights things for Will. I wonder if Will would like this. I think uh, Flory was a first season player. See, I don't know. I don't know the whole Golden Knights history kind of thing. But you know what? I... We'll get this for him if he wants to keep it great and if he wants to turn around and sell it i'm okay with that too 4.99 let's get the golden knights take a peek at the oh he's very lightweight lightweight not good quality resin there's actually a difference between good quality resin and not so good quality resin let's see if the metal section gives us something good tonight sometimes it does really good not looking so hopeful tonight though these are kind of nice four dollars each though trays hmm. nope tonight is not the night for the metals copper pieces 5.99 that's not a bad price I'm not really into the copper stuff though. It's just, it's not really my thing. I'll leave that for somebody else. Let's see what we've got over in the silver tones. This, I think, is a Wilton. Are you Wilton? Anne Carey Collection Plateau Pen. I don't know. I still, I don't know. But I like it because it shells. So I'll grab that. Another shell piece back here. Let's see who makes you. You are English Silver Manufacturing Corporation. Made in USA. I know that's not coming up real good, but there we go. Now you can kind of see what I'm seeing. It is $29.99. I didn't even see that when I first picked it up. It's $29.99. They probably think it's real silver and it's not. It's definitely not silver. All right, now we're in the fake plants and the vases, or vases, if you will. These are metal. It's kind of interesting. The, the Nuttle collection, Nuttle collection, oh, those are very, very heavy. It's a vase, light of the moon vase. Let's see, what do you look like? Oh, goodness. Let's come down here. Oh, it's white, so that's not promising. Stand by. Well, there you go. It's literally the image that's on the box. And it's, uh, I uh, dare say, not that attractive. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that's why they ended up at the Goodwill. And they're asking $12.99 a piece on those. I don't know. It's just, um... I don't know if that guy turns out to be something good. More power to whoever buys it. I just can't. I just can't wrap my head around it. Here is a cool owl bottle vase thing. Not for food use. Phoenix Creative Company. Now, not that I would put food in it, but I do have concerns when they say that that means they use like lead paint perhaps. Not something I want to bring into my home. Kind of a neat vase, but probably Polish. It's got a big chip on the rim, unfortunately. Take a peek in the plastics. Got some mel melamine by, oh gosh, the Glare Studio Line by Laura Gates. Lori Gates. That's probably decent. Probably decent. Melamine. 
It's not exciting though. It's not something that would be an easy sell because it's, you know, not like a really, really desirable pattern. You know, like if it had something like hibiscus flowers now, might be another story. And these are, um, boy, I absolutely cannot read that one. All right, we don't need them today anyway. It's okay. Let's look over here. Last little, too much good stuff. Here we go. Oh, Lord have mercy, there's more. <laughs> now these aren't so terrible with the sheep and the fish, but no. I think these are plates. Oh no, there's espresso cup and saucer for party pack. And then there's more. There's the tea sets. And then there's so oh Soho is the name of it, but what? These are they're bowls. Those are bowls. Oh my goodness. No. Just can't. Just can't. I know. Watch me research and find out that they're worth like hundreds of dollars or something. Oh, goodness. But that's kind of my thing, though. I just don't deal with things that um, I just can't. I mean, you got to deal with it. You got to write it up. You got to list it. You got to stare at it on your shelf in your inventory. So make it something you enjoy. That's actually a vintage pattern, petals. But I am, again, just not interested in dealing with like a single bowl like that right now. This is Premier. All right. Let's see what we've got in the glassware tonight. These are pretty heavy duty. That's like restaurant wear margarita glass. Hmm, I see some singles that are interesting, but I'm really not interested in picking up singles. I'd rather have a set of something. It's much easier to sell. No, nothing exciting. Coffee mugs, let's see if we got anything in the coffee mugs. What's this one? That is, it's an FTD, 1993. Hmm. <laughs> Dunkin Donuts. Oh, Sagata Bucks. That's interesting. Not interesting enough to buy tonight, though. Let's see what we've got over here in the kitchen wares. Made in Italy. Lavorato e dipinto a mango de ruta. Made in Italy. Nice little heart shaped bowls. Three of them for $3.99. I guess we'll go ahead and pick those up. What is this dish here? Oh, it's glass. It fooled me. That was very odd. Not what I was expecting at all. There is a nice piece of Temptations, but I have to deal with the Temptations that I already have. Okay, that sounded kind of funny. Uh, I have a bit of it that I haven't dealt with because it's big and bulky and heavy. And, and so that tells me don't pick up any more until you have dealt with what you already have. Oh, look at the lizard on this guy. Oh, it's a mug. Oh my goodness. It is from Vera Cruz. Mexico for $4.99 that lizard is spectacular that is such a great mug but unfortunately it does have a big crack in it so the journey goes on oh those are now half price look at that mm, no I'm gonna resist going they're just very very cheap quality is why but let's take a look at this mug. Looks like it came from the MGM. 
No, it's the Lion King. Sadly, it's really, really kind of messed up. What are you, little bunt pan? Kind of cute, kind of cute. Oh, that's a really pretty chip and dip. I do like that. $7.99. Again, I have several of these. I pick them up because I love them, but apparently nobody else loves them because they are still sitting in my booth. So, not gonna pick up another one. Oh, I like this too, but I don't like it at $12.99. It is, it's, oh. That was. But it was really loud and it made me jump. Nice little base. Oh, that's a little birdhouse. Ashland. It was a $22 birdhouse and now it's $5.99. Hmm. You know what? We'll get that for $5.99. Right next to it was these really pretty blue vases that, I mean, they don't feel super high quality, but then they are only $2 each. So they're super attractive and they will look really, really good in my boutique. So I'm gonna grab those too. Hiding back on the shelf are these little chick salt and peppers. They are $2.99, yes please. All right, let's see what else is over here. Here, mm -hmm -hmm. some religious plaques, monastery icons, it's windows into heaven. Wonder when these. Wonder when these are from. Oh, copyright date on other side. Where? Oh my goodness! You mean in that itsy bitsy teeny tiny print right there? I think this is 1983. Maybe, oh my gosh, it's so tiny. Look how tiny that they expect us to see the copyright date on that. Oh, wow, oh wow, um, yeah, yeah. Oh wait, 1989 on this one. There we go, 1989 on this one. These are kind of cool. I don't know what the market would be for them, so I will leave those for somebody else tonight. I might pick them up, you know, on another day if they're still here. So I think they are kind of cool. All right, let's roll through the cooking section. Ooh, that reminds me, Noah is going to cook tonight. I don't know what he's going to cook tonight, but he's gonna cook tonight. He hasn't cooked for a while. We have missed Noah's cooking. This is a little, like a little desk clip. Actually, that's kind of cool for $3.99. We're gonna grab that. And I don't see anything else exciting, except maybe this copper piece, $2.99. I mean, that's probably a really good price. I don't know why, this just doesn't excite me. But I feel like that's a really good price on this, the brass and copper, but I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it for somebody else to find. All right, we're getting into the mishy mashies. There is a senior year. Oh, you know what? I looked that before. I thought it was a yearbook. It's not. It's a it's a senior year scrapbook to be put together. Xerox paper. Oh, it's all different colors. Let's see. How much are you? We go through a lot of paper. It's only three ninety nine. I'm gonna grab that for the store. I see this little guy sitting up here praying. I don't know who makes them. It's really cute though. Bathroom stuff. Hmm. I don't see anything we need here. It's an interesting little box. Yahtzee. All these cards. Bears. More cards, airplane, paper airplane kits, but nothing that we need. Squeeze me, I talk. 
No, nope, not anymore you don't. Okay. Oh my gosh, look at this really old scale. Holy moly. I wonder if it still works. Let's see. Oh, oh, it doesn't balance very well. Oh my goodness. Let's see. Nope, it's wrong. All right, lamp section. Anything good? Nope, nothing even tempting tonight. All right, we're peeking in the art. It's fairly picked over tonight, but you never know, you never know what could have gotten left behind. Interesting things, but nothing super good for resale. That looks like a Lassen print. No, it's Miller. Miller. The houses are kind of cool. The home of Andrew Johnson, Richard Sebring. It's from the National National Archive. And then there's the beaches, the home of Calvin Coolidge. Those are kind of cool. Metallic dolphins. I don't know. I'm just not in an art mood tonight. Definitely not in an art mood tonight. Unless I saw something like really spectacular. The furniture section's a bit wiped out tonight. They must have had some good things that sold quickly. It's an interesting piece. It's like a changing table on top. Oh, that's kind of fancy. Hmm. No, I don't see anything that we can't live without. All right, pillows, pillows, pillows. I saw some pillows today. I went yard sailing and I just, I don't know. I wasn't in a pillow mood either. Yeah, nothing, nothing really speaking to me. Not today. Oh, it's so, such a travesty to see Mr. Potato Head landed on the floor. Oh my gosh, little guy. Well, here, let me at least like attach your arm here so it's with you. And then let me, let me, here, let's put you back. Is that how you go? Do you go and? Do you fit him? No. Oh, no? Do I not know how to do a Mr. Potato Head anymore? Come on, surely. Surely, yeah, yeah there we go. All right, let's put you, let's put you back up here where you can be safe. All right, there you go. We got a big Odie. Who makes you play by play? $5.99 on that big old Odie. I do love me some Odie, but not tonight. I got so much, again, I have so much plush to deal with. I just really shouldn't even look at any more. I see a Scooby-Doo character in there. Interesting baggies. This side is almost all baggies. Wow, oh my, look at that character. Yeah, nothing, nothing exciting me in the baggies. More baggies down here too, like just baggies and baggies and baggies and, oh, I made sirens go off. I do look for little animals. That's why I do look through because there is something that I collect that has the potential to be in these baggies, but it's not looking promising. Nope, nope, nothing tonight. All right, let's take a peek through the bags. See if there's anything irresistible. That is cute. That is a, that's a love Betsy, a little Betsy Johnson for $12.99. Mm, not feeling it for $12.99. Yep. I'm 
not seen anything except maybe this little butterfly backpack purse. Oh, it's got a broken strap. Okay, never mind. Well, I think that's going to do it for us. Yes, I did find myself a pair of brand spanking new shoes. Uh, we're going to go check out. Stay tuned for the recap. I'm going to tell you everything I bought, how much I paid, and how much it's worth. That's coming up right now. the bird yes she did <laughs> actually she just she just threw in the bird don't tell anybody <laughs> he's so cute all right I don't even remember what my total was but it was totally worth it for everything I got well you've seen the recap you see how much I spent some pretty amazing things tonight I must say and I just found out they are open tomorrow on Easter Sunday I'm a little dismayed by that I, I'm wrestling with it on one hand it's like oh they really should be closed on Easter. And then on the other hand, I'm like, maybe I should go shop tomorrow on Easter because it probably isn't going to be very busy. What to do? The dilemma is real. So I guess you're going to have to subscribe and hit the little notification bell if you want to find out if I hit the Goodwills on Easter Sunday. There you go. All right. With that, you go be profitable. And make it fun. We'll see you on the next one.